Hello everyone, welcome to channel. The Agatha All Along Finale delivered a beautifully tragic conclusion to Agatha Harkness' story, particularly with the introduction of her son, Nicholas Scratch, who had been referenced but never seen until that moment. Throughout the series, we heard whispers of Nikki's existence, culminating in a poignant narrative thread that added depth to Agatha's character. In the early episodes, hints about Nicholas emerged subtly. Agatha's Westview home featured a room that looked like an untouched bedroom belonging to a deceased son, evoking a sense of loss. Additionally, during the first trial on the Witch's Road, Jen mentioned rumors suggesting that Agatha had traded her son for the Darkhold, the magical tom that Wanda stole from her in WandaVision. There were even implications that Nicholas could be tied to Mephisto, heightening the mystery around him. When Agatha is questioned by Billy about her son, she remains tight-lipped, even when a Ouija board appears to summon Nicholas, allowing a child's voice to cry out for help. Agatha's response to Rio, who asks why she lets others believe she harmed Nicholas, reveals her inner turmoil, because the truth is too awful. This statement foreshadows the heart-wrenching backstory that unfolds in the finale, titled Maiden, Mother, Crone. Nicholas is revealed to have been born in 1750, a significant detail given that it follows Agatha's devastating act of killing her mother and her coven in Salem by 57 years. Agatha's cryptic remark, I spoke no spell, I said no incantation, you were made from scratch, leaves much to interpretation, it's puzzling to think that Agatha, a powerful witch, could have conceived a child in a conventional manner. Some fans speculate that the green magic wielded by Rio, a character embodying death, might have played a role in Agatha's pregnancy. However, this raises questions about the true meaning behind From Scratch. Nicholas was initially expected to be stillborn, but Agatha implored death, who represents the love of her life, to spare him. Death granted her six more years with her son before ultimately returning to claim him. During that time, he collaborated with Agatha to compose the Ballad of the Witch's Road and assisted her in deceiving other witches. The moral implications of allowing Nicholas to live on borrowed time are complex, reflecting Agatha's feelings of guilt and shame. It's a tragic irony that despite her love for death, she found herself powerless to protect her son from its inevitable grasp. In contrast to his portrayal in Agatha all along, the Nicholas Scratch from the comics plays a very different role. He emerges as the leader of a witch community called New Salem and engages in magical mischief, wielding a Satan staff and serving as an agent of Mephisto. This character shares his name with Sabrina Spellman's boyfriend in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, who is a complex, polyamorous, bisexual warlock with a penchant for chaos, including a stint where he possesses Joe Head's body in Riverdale. The name Nicholas Scratch itself carries historical weight, as Old Scratch is an age-old alias for the devil, adding a layer of irony to the character's identity. Ultimately, Agatha and Nicholas embody a rich tapestry of magic and tragedy, continuing to captivate audiences with their intertwined destinies.